<laughs> digging for green solutions, but not deep enough. Day two of the Toyako summit put climate change center stage, but activists are claiming repeating the promises of last year's summit is a step in the wrong direction. Leaders agreed to a goal to reduce emissions by 50 percent by 2050, and the Russian president proposed a new idea, holding grain summits to deal with soaring oil and food prices. We made two proposals. One of them linked to the creation of a new format for the G8. It is one on which agricultural ministers will take part. This has received support. And also holding a special session like a summit on grain problems, a grain summit if you like, where reasons for the increase of prices can be discussed as well as ways of stabilizing the system. But organizations like the WWF's Global Climate Change Program were hoping for more. Japan made huge efforts to make this a green summit. The venues are entirely eco-friendly. There's no air conditioning. The buildings are cooled with last winter's snow, which gave many hope that the results would be as impressive as the preparations. It seems that isn't the case. Compared to um, what we need, uh, this was a failure. Um, we do think that governments uh, and the G8 countries were not ambitious enough. The G8 produced 62 percent of carbon emissions, and few are ready to take real action and set earlier target dates. And also the EU countries were not strong enough in demanding that uh, um, this should be an outcome from this. We're also not strong enough in just saying, well, then we just disagree. While leaders talked climate change, their first ladies got a taste of the green life. A glance into an eco-friendly future, from organic produce to how to cut our carbon footprints to test driving clean rides. But for the leaders, there's no time for exploring. The main agenda is packed and the sidelines no less. They are used for one-on-one -on -one talks. President Dmitry Medvedev sat down with his Japanese host, Prime Minister Fukuda. I'd like to thank you for your outstanding organizational efforts during the summit. We're working comfortably and in a very scenic location. Despite the fog, our work is moving forward at a good pace. But while some relationships are developing well between G8 countries, teamwork is lacking. There are lots of smiles, handshakes and sometimes even kisses, but no concrete results. High hopes for real eco-solutions at this year's summit have dropped, and the G8 have yet to go from the main producers of emissions to the driving force behind a solution. Anisa Nawe, RT, Hokkaido, at the G8, Japan.